Hey everyone, so today we are going to talk about negative binomial distribution. Now what is it? So it's a probability distribution of the number of occurrences of successes and failures in a sequence of independent trials before a specific number of success occurs. Now let me try to explain you this. Now suppose uh, Ronaldo, Cristiano Ronaldo, so a big famous football player. Now whenever he approaches towards a goal post and whenever he shoots, the probability that he will score a goal is say suppose 0.87 so whenever he shoots these are the chances that he will score a goal and what are the chances that he will miss scoring a goal or he will miss putting the ball inside the goal post is 0.13 now if i ask you what is the probability that he will score his he will score his uh, fifth goal in his seventh shot okay so what is the probability 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. He will score his fifth goal in his seventh shot. This is what the question is. Now, does this satisfy this condition? Yes. Now, see, each shot is a trial. Each shot is a trial and it's an independent trial. If he misses to score in a first shot, does not mean that he will also miss in the second shot. He may or he may not score a goal. Okay, so all the trials are independent. It's a sequence of success and failures. He will score, he will not score. Score, score, not score. He will score, he will score. Okay, so it's a sequence of success and failure. In this case, what is a success? If he scores a goal, it's a success. If he misses the goal post, it's a failure. So it's a sequence of success and failure of independent trials before a specific number of success. In this case, the fifth goal occurs. So this is what it means. Now we will come back to this example but why the word negative binomial distribution so little bit of digression so let me recall what we have studied earlier in the binomial distribution you can see my earlier lecture link you can find in the description so what is a binomial distribution so when you have a discrete random variable in this case also discrete random variable okay when we have some nice four assumptions which we call as a binomial process then we have the binomial distribution what are those four properties in the Bernoulli process or the four assumptions? The experiment consists of n number of trials. Uh, each trial has two outcomes, either a success or a failure. Probability of success remains the same in each trial and the trials are independent. Now here everything is same except the first one or not the first one I would say is the kind of other way around. So in binomial you do n number of successes. Okay, and from there you find what is the probability of X number of successes. Okay, here is the other way. Here you find the probability that the X success will occur in the nth trial. Okay, so it's the other way. There you do N number of successes and then you there you do N number of trials and you find X number of successes. Here you keep on doing the trial like you want to find the probability of X success at the nth trial. Okay, so this, this is the other way around. N and then the number of successes, your X success at the nth trial. Okay, so that's why the word negative because it's kind of reverse way. So that's, that's why the word negative binomial distribution. Okay, so here you do N number of trials to find out your Rth success where R is already given. Okay, so that's what it means. So now let us try to understand this with the help of a same example. So here it is given that the fifth success and at the seventh trial. So after that you don't do the experiment, that's where you stop here. Now, what is the probability of this? That the, he will score his fifth goal on the seventh shoot. Now, that means this is the fifth goal. So earlier he will score how many goals? Four goals. So suppose you have goal, goal, goal and goal. And other two will be missed, missed shots. Okay. Now what is the probability of this missed shot? 0 0.15. What is the probability of this 0 0.85 8 what i said i said 87 right so this will be 13 now the trials are independent so probability of this is probability of missed into probability of g into probability of g and so on so missed is two times and the probability of success is how many times five times so this is what you have so is p is the probability of success p raised to phi u your q is 1 minus p so q raised to 2 which is 7 minus 5 now this was one possibility other possibility will be what uh, goal missed goal miss goal goal or goal goal missed missed goal goal 
so now question is how many such possibilities are there now this is fixed now so these are how many position six position and i want to fill four go goals right so out of six i want to fill four positions with goals so this is the the total probability that x will take the value five that means the fifth success occurs at the seventh shot in general the formula is the probability that this is x minus one k minus one so this is the xth trial and the kth success like in binomial it was the other way right it was the nth trial and the x was below here other way x n k down okay p raised to what was this this is 5 so it is k minus 1 so p raised to k into q raised to x minus k and this is nothing but your b star here you call star and then you call n k p instead of n that was for binomial here it will be k x p so here you are doing the x trial for the kth success there you do n number of trials and then you find probability of x number of successes okay so that's why the word negative and this is the formula that you will usually see in your book now let's go for an example so here is an example the probability that in a certain city a person owns a dog is 0 0.3 question is what is the probability that the 10th person randomly interviewed okay so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10th 10th, 10th person randomly inter interviewed in that city is the fifth one to own a dog so this one owns a dog and this is the fifth person who is owning a dog so before that how many persons will own a dog only four persons will own a dog so you can see the success the number of trials is like depending on the number of successes so you have to go for the negative binomial distribution okay so what is the formula x minus 1 k minus 1 p raised to x p raised to k q raised to x minus k now what is your x and k how many trials there are 10 trials so 10 minus 1 success fifth success so 5 minus 1 p raised to k q raised to x minus k so this is the probability so this is nothing but 9 choose 4 what is my p 0 0.3 so 10 by 3 raised to 5 into 7 by 10 raised to 5 1 minus 3 by 10 so this is the answer so here is a homework problem for you you have to tell me what is the answer for a and the b part the question is the probability that a person is flipping a coin gets third head head on the seventh flip and the second question is first head on the fourth flip okay so this is what the question is try to solve this always make sure you first you define your x what will be your successes and then write down the probability of success probability of failure and then put the formula to get the answer so i hope this concept is clear if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section and if everything is clear then do not forget to like share and subscribe thank you